What is up everybody? Cody Morgan here for Team New Canoe. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of uh, finesse worm presentations that I use during the summer. I can fish them deep, I can fish them shallow, but we're going to talk to you about the Nico rig and the weighted wacky Cinco. Let's jump right into it. First off, one of my favorite ones, the Nico rig. This is how I got it set up. I usually use something with a little bit of a, of a bulbous tail. I like the way that those set up. This is what I'm currently using, Daiwa. It's a Nico Fat. I got it set up with a, uh, a VMC weedless Nico hook. Size one is what I use slap it on there with an o-ring and then I've always always leave the uh, the nail weight just a little bit exposed so when I'm hitting rocks and stuff down there I'm getting a little bit of a click sound which which I think draws in uh, more bites and it's a little bit more effective I feel so that's how I do that and then what I will usually use is the uh, the VMC I like 1 8 I like a little bit heavier so I'll use the one with the uh, the bulb tip Nice and snug up there. That's real, real clean, real nice. And then always use a uh, an O-ring on my Nico setups. And I like to set it up closer to the head of the worm. And then what you do, you take your hook, you run it front to back on your Nico setups. That way when they come in, boom, they get that hook point right there when they bite it. So when you feel that, you just reel down, set the hook. That's the Nico setup. Like I said, I, I throw this thing in about 30 feet, just cast it out, let it sink all the way to the bottom, give it a couple pops, pop, pop, and then I shake it. Pop it, let it hit the rocks or whatever, give it a little shake, tap, 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 feel the bottom, just nice and slow. N nothing too fast with the with the Nico setup. And then you'll just feel and bite it. And then boom, that's it. Works great when the water's real hot, the fish don't really wanna do much, they're out deeper. That's why I like this setup. Always manage to get a couple bites on the Nico rig. All right guys, next setup is something that I, I don't really see a lot of guys using. But uh, it is out there and I have gotten some really, really good fish on this setup here. So it's a, uh, a weighted wacky Cinco. Like I said, I, I fish this thing out deep, so I'm throwing this thing in 20 to 30 feet of water. It is currently set up with a, I think this is a quarter ounce or an eighth ounce. This is an eighth ounce Berkeley Fusion weighted wacky weedless. So I, I like all my stuff weedless, especially where I fish. I got a lot of trees and stuff out there. And then I'll set this up with, I'm usually using a bigger Cinco. So I won't use the, the five inch. I'll always use the six inch when I'm throwing the, uh, the weighted wacky style. Just like that. And for this particular one, I do not use O-rings on these. I set it up just like this. I feel like it gives it a little bit better action. And even when it's dragging it down to the bottom there, you're still getting that fluttering. So it's not just dragging it down, you're still getting that Cinco action on the fall. So when you're down there, you can feel the bottom a bit better. It's a little different than a, than a normally, you know, how you'd wacky rig a Cinco. You got a lot more feel with this setup, especially when you're out there fishing offshore and you want to make sure you feel every little tick on the bottom. It's a great way to do that right here. This is one of my favorite setups. As you can see, I've caught a couple really, really nice ones on uh, something like this. This is the, uh, the worms that I'll use for those. I usually use Yamamoto stuff. Um, like I said, six inches is the way to go for me on those. And 
If you haven't tried either one of these worm presentations, I highly recommend you go out there and try them. They're very effective, very good on these warm water situations where the fish are kind of lethargic. They don't really want to move around too much, you know, to go after and chase. They're willing to eat, but they're, they just don't want to work as hard for it. So these two options are going to be some of the best you can find out there. Like I said, I highly recommend you go try them out. The Naco rig and the weighted wacky Senko. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next one.